side. It's next to the star where you arrive. So now we want um, we got shields. So just in case we bump into some something or somebody, I forget whether we're in open or not. Now no, we're in solo still. Yeah, you want to still you you want to still be in solo for doing this because there's loads of commanders here, and um, you know some of them are doing combat, so they'll kill you just for fun if you're not careful. So try and keep the speed limits. Just went over for a bit there. So once you're out, just make sure there's nobody in front of you. They do uh, landing gear up and boost. So there's the star. Oh, there's two stars here. So I'm just going to open up the system map. Oh no, there's one star here. So the nav beacon's going to be somewhere close to the star. So if we just fly over there. So frame shift drive. It's probably already on our nav panel. Right, so if we look on there now, nav beacon, there it is. So same project, just like a, you know, when you came to the station or the resource extraction site. Wait till the timer's down to 7 seconds, put your throttle in the blue zone and then drop out when you get there. And it's the same procedure as the resource extraction site. There'll be some bad guys there. And there's some. there might be some lesser ships that we can shoot. If you get a harmless hauler or something like that, we can take them on and have a bit of fun. Or even a T6. You get them. You don't get much money for them, but it all counts. Plus it's a bit of fun. They do fight back a bit sometimes but the police will come and help you so here we are in the blue zone you see how it all works in a minute so now uh, what we're going to do we might as well arrange our pips now same as the resource extraction site two to weapons and four to systems while we we're not fighting and we want to be safe I mean, nobody's going to crash into us out here, but um, when we get there, anything could happen. So, the difference between the nav beacon and the resource extraction site is it's much slower. But this time, we won, I think it's about 100,000 is enough to get you your rep up. So, I'm going to go for 200,000 or something like that, maybe, just to make sure. And I don't know whether they you get rep for different factions. So here you are, it's at the navigator, there's a few ships. So you can get your guns out ready. He's got his hard points out all of a sudden. An F scout. He's harmless. And he's clean. And when we got some data from him. Not that we're gonna use it at this point. So just have a look and see who's about, what they are. And just keep an eye out for any shooting. There's a lot of cruising rounds here, so it's a bit boring. So he's in a wing, and he's harmless. So I don't even know what they're up to, they just cruise. So just target them all, we've done him. So you can use your um, contacts panel. Here we got a diamond back, he's the only one. He's dangerous, and he's clean. So I haven't seen any police yet. So unfortunately all you can do is just wait. And yeah, it's a lottery. Have yeah, we done him? So you can when you get these what we call unresolved dots on the screen, like that one there is flashing. You can fly there and just see, you know, if you can find out who he is. There's a Viper Mark IV somewhere, he's behind us. What's he up to? Once shooting starts, the police will turn up. And 
last time I was here, it took a while to get going, but eventually big ships started turning up and they got an anaconda for about 250,000, which is quite handy. That's all I needed, just him on his own. But it's a lottery, you know, each time you come, it's different. So just boring at the moment. So I'll cut and come back when somebody's about. Right, things are warming up a bit now. Took ages. What happened is eventually a harmless diamondback turned up. So as I was bored, I just started shooting him. He didn't fight back at all. I just followed him around, shooting him. And finally, when he was nearly dead, the feds joined in. And it seems that once I got that first kill, then more and more seemed to come. So I haven't had anything really juicy yet. This vulture might be worth something. Let's, get, let's attack him. So it's the same procedure as the... Um, so I got 80,000 for him. So I got a diamond back. There was a, a clipper. That clipper there in front of me. That one. Seems to be a bounty hunter. He, he, he was, I found him shooting the other clipper. So what else have we got? Nothing else about at the moment. So with that vulture, the clipper, and um, the diamond back, I've got probably a hundred thousand, hundred twenty thousand there. So it might be enough. I'll just get a couple more kills. I'll show you the um, kill warrant scanner if I can. I don't know whether I've done that one yet. That is the clipper, isn't it? Yeah, I've done it. So I need to find a fresh ship. They're all security. It's a long way away. Never know. Mostly harmless. Wanted. Wanted. Uh, get the pips to the shields, two to the weapons. I don't think I'd get much trouble off him, but just to be safe. Looks like all the feds are on him now. He's taking a while. Right. Harmless and mostly harmless ones you can take on on your own. Just have a bit of fun. They might shoot you, but just make sure you've got your four pips to your shields. And so it doesn't do much damage. The 13,000 is a cobra. Harmless. If he's wanted, we'll have a go at him. That is a good, good guy. Sidewinder. See again, there goes the kill warrant scanner. Not doing anything. So well, we call it a day now. That's um, I think we got enough. So put my weapons away, and all I've got to do is go back to Jeffrey's or Millerport rather. Was it Millerport or Jeffrey's? I can't remember now. Millerport. That's the nearest to the star. So we got we got our two hundred thousand. That should be enough to appease the guys back at the station and start let them start giving us some missions. So I don't know how long that took. It was about mm, an hour and a half altogether. Very boring at first, but once I, once I killed the first ship, then it started to pick up a bit. So I don't know where that's. Um, important but it's like the key when I did it yesterday similar sort of thing there was a load of ships came and went 
feds came and went, but they never seemed interested in the bad guys. And then I killed my first mostly harmless ship. Whoops, I was shot talking. I killed my first um, mostly harmless one on my own. And then things seemed to pick up afterwards as well, so maybe that's the key to it. Contacts. So we got 300,000 altogether. That's not bad. More than what I needed in the end. Because we had that wing of three turn up at the end. Yeah, another time that'll be there at the beginning. So I'll save all this time. Confirm now you'll get a message about rep. There it is. So that's what well, that's telling us. If we go to the panel, this one here where it says two. Quince Creative Holdings reputation change. And the Quince Galactic reputation change. So uh, there you go. We're pleased to inform you that I've changed to Cordial. That's all I needed. The, the Empire one doesn't really matter. And um, this one I'm cordial as well. So we can start getting the missions we want now. Right, I'm just inserting this little bit in here. It's out of sequence. but um, it's What I learnt um, doing this, I basically walked you right through the process. And of course, you never know how things are going to turn out and it can be different each time. Um, we've got the rep up. Uh, for two of the factions doing the bounty hunting if you're lucky you could get more it could be all four like it did last time but this time uh, maybe it's just the pirates that I killed were from the wrong factions but I only could manage to unlock two of the uh, factions to get the missions from them so uh, I found out later that what you need to do at this stage if you haven't unlocked them um, you need to do the donation missions and what that means is the ones where it says uh, donate three tons of clothing or four tons of reactive armor or whatever. So uh, for that, you need to get a, a hauler. So you can either swap your sidewinder, trade it in, or just buy the hauler. They don't cost much and uh, equip it for um, running to back to the bubble which is a long long way so it's same similar to how you got out here and then go and buy the stuff that you need to donate and then come back again now later on I, I think it's in the next video I'll include how to do that uh, but I'm not going to do it at this stage but it would be a good time to do that now so when you watch the next one you see how to go back to the bubble rather than start doing the missions now uh, instead of doing that if you haven't unlocked uh, all four of those top factions, then keep refreshing to take on, say, two of each of the donation missions and then um, run back, uh, follow the video, shows you how to go back and get the stuff and then come back again. And then all four will be unlocked and you can then start doing loads of the, the missions we're after to start making our money.